Hi everyone, this is Sarah of TheHealthyHomeEconomist.com and I'm back in the kitchen with this video. You'll remember with our last adventure, uh, I took you to an Asian supermarket. And one of the things I purchased in the Asian supermarket is raw shredded coconut meat in the frozen section. And also I bought a couple of young coconuts at the supermarket. There weren't any um, regular mature coconuts at the supermarket and um, which are hard to find and they're cer certainly seasonal. But if you can't find um, whole coconuts, mature coconuts, you can certainly get the frozen coconut meat at the Asian supermarket and make your own coconut milk. I know a lot of us are trying to get away from the canned coconut milk, even the coconut milk that is in these aseptic packages because of what lines these packages tends to uh, make the milk a lot less healthy. So, and certainly making raw, fresh coconut milk yourself can't be beat for taste and nutrition. It's always best to do that. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to actually make your own coconut milk today with the frozen coconut meat that I got from the store and also these young um, coconuts that I purchased. So what you do is you thaw this out and when you thaw it out you get this uh, finely shredded coconut meat. It's not desiccated coconut. Now desiccated coconut would be dried. It would be in packages that are on the shelf and it would be dried. This is not. Um, you can also make coconut milk with desiccated coconut. The problem with that is you have to use boiling, a boiling liquid to basically reconstitute the desiccated coconut. Um, and I don't really like that. We're trying to do raw coconut milk here. Um, and for that, you really need frozen, fresh coconut meat or coconut meat directly out of a coconut. So this is not desiccated. It looks desiccated, but if you feel it, it's actually wet. It's moist. It's, it's not been cooked. It's raw, and it has not been dried or subjected to any heat. So once you thaw this out, then you can proceed to open one of your young coconuts. And how you do that is you just... Take a kitchen knife, one with a serrated edge I found works quite well, and you just take off the top of it. You don't have to take off much, maybe an inch or so, and then take a nice clean um, screwdriver, and you're going to kind of feel around on the top here, and you're going to find the soft spot on the top of this coconut. And it's not necessarily in the center. As you can see with this one, the soft spot that I found is right over here, way over on the side. So once you find the soft spot, you're gonna take that nice clean screwdriver and you're just gonna pop it right through. Let me just set this aside. And now we have a nice hole in our coconut and you can turn it upside down and get the coconut water out of it. Now, I recommend that you kind of turn it upside down and leave it for a while. It'll take a few minutes to drain out. Or you can sit there and shake it and kind of get it out a little quicker but it does take some time to get the water out. Then after you get all the water out, you can chop this thing open and you can scoop out, there's not very much in a young coconut, but there is a little bit of coconut meat. You can see this wonderful white coconut meat. <clears throat> it's very soft, unlike a mature coconut, which is very hard, but you will get a little bit out. Not enough to make a lot of coconut milk, which is why I recommend that you buy the frozen stuff so you can make uh, a lot of coconut milk at a time. If you're gonna go to this effort, you might as well make a lot of it, maybe freeze it. Um, <clears throat> so what we're gonna do now, is now that we've got the coconut meat out of one of these coconuts, and we've got about a cup and a quarter of coconut water out of one young coconut, we're gonna go ahead and make coconut milk. Now what you need is a blender, first of all, and you need about one cup of meat per one cup of water. Now, most coconut milk recipes will recommend that you heat the water, that you boil the water. I don't recommend that. I want to make raw coconut milk, so I'm not going to heat it. So what you're going to do is put your young coconut meat here into the blender. And don't worry about the brown parts uh, because they're going to be sieved out. The fibrous portion of the coconut meat is going to be sieved, uh, uh, sieved out later, so don't worry about that. So, And then we're going to put in a little bit of our dried and shredded coconut meat. Put that in there. That looks to be about one cup. Try to do it one cup at a time. I find that's good. It doesn't glug up your blender too much. And then you're going to pour in just enough coconut water to cover, to just cover the meat. Then you're going to close it up and you're going to turn it on. This is still 
a little wet, so I'm going to add, it's very liquidy, I'm going to add a little bit more of this shredded coconut. It's not dried, as I said before, it's just shredded fresh coconut meat. I'm going to add just a little bit more in here, because this, this uh, mixture is a little too liquidy. So just kind of judge it, play it by ear, you don't want it too watery, you don't want it too thick, and blend it again. And the next step, you've got a couple of options. The next step, you want to filter out, sieve out the fibrous portion of the coconut meat to get your nice, smooth coconut milk. There's a couple of things you can do. First, you can take a bowl, and you can take a nice, strong cheesecloth and spread it over the bowl, and you can pour your mixture from the blender directly into this cheesecloth, and then scoop up the edges, and you can hand squeeze out the milk with the fiber being left in the cheesecloth and the milk going into the bowl. You can do it by hand. If you happen to have a juicer, a juicer works beautifully for this process. Remember, a juicer has a nice, fine um, mesh to catch all the pulp from making vegetable and fruit juices. Why not use it to catch the pulp from your coconut meat? So in this case, I'm gonna use my juicer because it's a lot faster. And you're just gonna hook it up and you're gonna get your bowl in front of it to catch the milk. And we're going to set this off, and you're going to see the milk come out. Delicious. Let me get a spoon so you can see the texture of this. Our wonderful whole coconut meat, uh, coconut milk, excuse me, where the fiber has been strained out and it's delicious. It's raw, it's fresh, and you can use it in whatever dish you want at this point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make another video and show you exactly how you can use this raw coconut milk to make another dish and maintain its rawness, and that's what we'll talk about in the next video.